Welcome to this video on Big Data. Let's start with the introduction. Have you ever considered how much data it brings in messages, calls, emails, snaps, video clips, Google searches and music? Now let's assume this figure 40 exabytes be multiplied by 5 billion smartphone users. In point of fact, for traditional computing system, this volume of data is too massive to deal with and this gigantic data is termed as big data. Let's check out the data prompted per minute on the internet. As you can see that's a massive data. Now the question is how do you classify any data as a big data? Here is the answer. Volume, Velocity, Variety, Veracity and Value. To get a better understanding, let's take hold of an example from healthcare industry. Hospitals, dispensaries, surgery centers and clinics across the globe prompt gigantic mass of data in the shape of ward records, patient records and much more. 2.3 exabits of data are gathered annually. All this data is produced at excessively high speed which ascribed to the velocity of big data. Veracity is the exactness and reliableness of the prompted data. Valuating all this information will definitely welfare the health zone next to facilitate faster observation of ailment, superior nursing, cost reduction and this is known as the value of big data. But how do we store and process this big data? We have numerous frameworks to do this task like Cassandra, Hadoop and Spark. Let's pick up Hadoop first. Hadoop uses a distributed file system known as Hadoop distributed file system to store a big data. If you have a massive file, your file will be fragmented down into smaller chunks and stored in various machines. Furthermore, when you fragment the file, you also create duplicates of it, which depart into various nodes. In such a manner, you stock your big data in a distributed way and assure that even if one machine fails, your data is secure on another one. For instance, in games like Halo 3 and Call of Duty, designers evaluate user data to acknowledge at which phase maximum users pause, start or quit game playing to enhance the user experience which consecutively bring down the customer churn rate and metamorphose on the storyline of the game. This acumen can be very friendly. During Hurricane Sandy in 2012, big data was used to acquire an improved consideration of the storm's effect on the east coast of the US and also assisted with disaster management and obligatory measures were taken. It could foretell the hurricane's land life five days in advance, which was not imaginable before time. That is it. Thank you for staying with us.